So, so far I've enabled Active Desktop <coughs> as a group policy, and I've set up Desktop Wallpaper, and sort of made a mandatory wallpaper. <coughs> now, well, not mandatory wallpaper yet, but this this will be the, you know, a default wallpaper. Um, now, what we can do is, let's configure a few more options here to sort of lock down the desktop. So adding, deleting items <coughs> on the desktop will disable that capability or that feature. Um, we'll prohibit editing items and we'll prohibit deleting items and prohibit adding items um, won't do prohibit changes well maybe later if we decide to do that these are just some of the desktop settings um, again remove user from manually redirecting profile folders hide and disable all items on desktop we don't want to do that but Remove the desktop cleanup wizard. Let's do that. Hide an explorer icon on desktop. We could do that if we want, um, or we could enable a toolbar. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll get we'll leave them in an explorer. Let's remove the computer icon. In this case, remove my documents. We'll leave that. They don't really need to go to computer hide network locations. Um, we could do that, but we won't. Remove properties from the computer icon context menu. Um, let's do this. We'll remove the recycle bin, and that way they can't permanently delete things. Um, that will give them a little bit extra measure of protection. They would have to call us, and maybe IT would come and delete their objects or documents or things. But that way, if they needed them recovered, we could. Of course, there are a lot more recovery options with network file servers and, and, and shares using shadow copy uh, with the advent of 2003, but that's just an option. Um, prohibit adjusting desktop toolbars and we could enable that and that would stop us from adjusting toolbars so there's just some of the desktop settings that we could lock down under our different users here so I'm going to go ahead and save we'll close the script policy setting and save it and now it's saved and defined as super spy desktop policy so we have two conflicting policies the default domain policy does not apply uh, des these desktop restrictions and it's at you know a it's farther out in terms of the inheritance hierarchy so it's farther up it, it's a parent object the domain here just on an OU and SuperSpies we've configured a GPO that's at a lower level it's at a child object but it would be applied in this order the domain policy would be applied and then the OU policy so without enforce or block policy inheritance these policies will combine and where they conflict these policies should override these policies here and let's go ahead and and there are other ways um let's say that we also want to filter this policy on a certain user we'll do that and the way to do that basically you have to be able to read a, a group policy object to be able to apply it so if you want to filter a group policy on a user now if we were to say block policy inheritance that would block it you know policy inheritance for an entire OU but we're gonna filter one OU on this and it'll be Tesla let's go ahead and add Tesla We'll add Tesla here. And okay. And now Tesla has read permission. What we're going to do um, I'll look at let's go over to advanced view here. And now with Tesla added, we're going to explicitly deny him the read permission and apply group policy permission. And if we do this, then that means these policy settings will not apply to Tesla. Um, again, you know, Windows is warning us. Now we could also simply uncheck. We could implicitly deny, and he it would have the same effect of filtering him. But this way, you know, it, this is a stronger sort of denial. So if he's got multiple group membership and another group had membership that that was allowed to read that GPO it would still be applied to Tesla even though we had only implicitly denied it here but since we explicitly denied it we'll filter it on his object alone no matter how many groups he's a member of this GPO will not apply to him we just want to edit the DACL there um, another thing we'll want to do we'll apply this to the northern hemisphere but let's say we wanted to filter nobody in the southern hemisphere should have a lockdown desktop 
for some reason. Well, what we could do is block inheritance at this level, and this would block any of these policies from being enforced on this setting. So let's test this out now. We want to check for a few things. We want to see, we'll log in maybe as one of our agents. Let's log in as Let's log in as Tesla and see if he's filtered. He's in research. Then we'll log in as Einstein, who's not filtered. And it should be applied to Einstein, should not be applied to Tesla. And then let's see if we can block policy inheritance here and log in maybe as one of our research or top agents in, in the Southern Hemisphere. So with all of these group settings, uh, you know, group policy settings modified, I'm going to close the group policy console. And I'll just we won't save the console settings. It, your GPU is saved, by the way. It's just That was just asking me if I wanted to save the console settings. I could just type GPU update, but I want you to see what's happening. So I'm going to open a command prompt first. And GPU update. Remember, every time we change group policy, we want to use the command GPU update. And now we'll log in and out as different users. So again, let's check our users and see, you know, see what should happen, and then we'll see what does happen with GPU update being applied. Okay, um, from Northern Hemisphere, our GPU is applied, but remember Tesla it was filtered on. We edited the DACL. He doesn't have read permission on the GPU, so he's filtered out. In this case, Einstein should have the effect of the desktop being locked down and the settings applied because he's not filtered out, and the GPU will apply to him. He gets it by inheritance because he's a child of you of super spies and the GPO is applied up here at super spies. Now it conflicts with the domain GPO, but remember that the last policy applied is dominant and we didn't use the enforce option here. So in this case, it, it should override those non-restrictive settings. Now remember we used block policy inheritance on Southern Hemisphere. So in this case, none of our users here should be affected. So if we log in as SH at men, then he should not have that restriction applied to him. However, NH at men will have that desktop uh, policy or restriction policy applied to him. And we'll test this out on our Vista client workstation. 